Therefore, this body, although this is material coming from the same source, still it is inferior. So when the Dehi or the uh, spirit soul, although by nature it is superior than the material nature, but still because he is encased within the material nature, he is forgetful of Krishna. This is the problem. <coughs> but as it is stated here uh, that dehe sarvas sarvasa dehe, the same spirit is there. Therefore, those who are not rascals, those who are intelligent and in complete knowledge, they do not find any distinction between a human being or an animal, Pandita Samadarsina, because he's Pandit, he's learned, he knows that the spirit soul is there, Vidya Vinaya Sampanni Brahmani. Within the first class learned Brahman, there is the soul, the same quality soul. Vidya Vinaya Sampanni Brahmani, Gobi, in the cow, Hastani, in the elephant. Suniche, Suniche, with the dog, Chandale, the lowest uh, kind of human being, everywhere the soul is there. Uh, it is not that simply in a human being there is soul, or in higher demigods there is soul, and poor animals have no soul. No, everyone has. Dehi Sarvasya Bharat. So whom we shall accept the statement of Krishna or some rascal philosopher or some so-called religionist? Whom we shall accept? Uh, we shall have to accept Krishna, the supreme authority, the supreme being. He says, Sarvas, many places, Krishna says. Therefore those who are learned, they do not make such distinction that it has no soul. Everyone has got soul. <coughs> Tasma sarvani bhūtāni. Again he says, sarvani bhūtāni. Nattam sūchitam marhasi. It is your duty. Krishna is simply stressing on the point that the soul is eternal, it cannot be killed in so many ways. The body is perishable, so it is your duty now to fight. The body may be killed, the body may be destroyed, but no harnate harnamane sarire. But even after the destruction of this body, the soul exists. He gets another body, that's all. Deha, tatha dehantara prati. Dehantara prati. He must get another body. And uh, this will be explained in the next verse also. For a kshatriya who are engaged in fighting in uh, religious fight, fight must be religious fight. Uh, the cause must be right. Then the fighting is all right. The kshatriya killing in the uh, religious fight, he is not responsible, he is not sinful. Uh, that is stated. Just like Brahmana, he, he puts in sacrifice some animal. That does not mean he is killing. Similarly, Kshatriya, when he is engaged in killing, he is not sinful. This will be explained in the next part. So it is your duty. Uh, don't be worried that you are killing your kinsman or your grandfather. Uh, take it from me 
sure happens that oh, the dehi kapadhi. You cannot kill it. He is eternal. <coughs> now, dehi sarmasya bharata, this important point, uh, you should note that uh, every living entity, uh, the body has grown uh, on the platform of the spirit soul. The body may be very gigantic or very small. It doesn't matter. But uh, therefore, a matter uh, is uh, produced or uh, grows on the platform of spirit. Uh, not that a spirit comes into existence or living force comes into existence by the combination of matter. This is a scientific point. Matter uh, is dependent on spirit. That word is called inferior. Jaidam dharjate jagat. Dharjate. Uh, it bears. The spirit is there, therefore the gigantic universe is resting on the spirit. Either the supreme spirit, Krishna, or the small spirit. There are two kinds of spirit, uh, ātmā and paramātmā, Ishara and paramāśara. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama.